Uh, thank you, Speaker. My question is to the Premier. Speaker, people in London and across the province are shaking their heads. They are appalled that the president of Western University made almost $1 million last year because of a deal that more than doubled his annual salary. Yesterday, the Minister of Training, Colleges and Universities avoided my question about whether the government would prohibit double salary payouts and said that Ontarians have the right to make sure that their tax dollars are spent properly. Premier, do you think that almost $1 million for a university president is spending tax dollars properly at a time when university budgets are being cut, Ontario students are facing the highest tuition in the country, grad students are being paid poverty wages, university class sizes are increasing, and more and more Question. students are being taught by contract faculty? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I want to thank the member for that question. Mr. Speaker, disclosure of public sector salaries is a part of this government's being open, transparent, and accountable. Mr. Speaker, as part of that commitment, our government passed legislation last year, the Accountability Act, which received the Royal Assent last December. Uh, Mr. Speaker, this act will allow our government to put control on the executive salaries, not only in universities and colleges, in every public sector and the broader public sector executives. And uh, that also includes a significant compliance and enforcement measures, Mr. Speaker. And our government, Mr. Speaker, is, is committed to make sure that the hard caps are in place for executive salaries in the university and college sector as well as in every sector in broader public sectors. When it comes to individual salary disclosure, Mr. Speaker, whatever Answer. has been disclosed by the uh, Sunshine List, that's what we have, but we cannot, uh, we cannot enter into discussion about every individual salary, uh, salary point. My minute. Thank, Thank you. you. Supplementary. Thank you, Speaker. I understand that it is common practice in the sector to allow university presidents to take an administrative leave at the end of their term and collect their salary at the same time. But the Western Board of Governors went one step further. They negotiated a contract allowing the president to forego an administrative leave and take a double salary instead. In other words, collecting two salaries for doing one job. A petition campaign is rapidly gathering steam, calling for a vote of no confidence in the university administration as a result. Premier, do you support the ability of university boards of governors to negotiate this kind of a deal with a university president? If not, will you step in to prohibit the practice? Mr. Speaker, again, I, I, I want to thank the member for that question. Mr. Speaker, our universities and colleges, in particular our universities, they are autonomous institutions. They have all the right to run their own daily affairs, including hiring, firing, human resources, and all aspects of their own, uh, their, their own institutions. Uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, we are very... Our universities and colleges, they are ranked among the best in the world. They have been doing a great job in, in educating our young people, and we have all confidence in our university board of governors to be able to run our institutions. So they're autonomous institutions, and these matters lie within the jurisdictions of, uh, of our universities and colleges. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.